Okay. I'm uh, in New Zealand. I'm a bit jet lagged, I think. I've got a bit of a cold from last week's convention. Who was it? I um yeah, it's five twenty five here. It's too early to go to bed. It's too late to have a nap. I don't know what to do. So I thought I'd come on here, see if you could ask me some questions to keep me awake. <laughs> I was reading some of your comments. Um, and also, uh, to yeah yeah to see if you want to ask me any questions about last week's episode tomorrow's episode and it was your birthday happy birthday do Blair that's how you say it um, I'm not answering that question don't be daft of course not. <laughs> oh, you're all funny. Okay. You're all asking the same question. What's my favourite part of the season so far? There's a really cool scene um, tomorrow, actually. Um, it's fairly epic. Um, Bob Barons wrote it. It's awesome. I'm really lucky. And uh, Jared's awesome in it too. Tune in. Have a wee look. There was something else I remember. I remember. I remember what it was. Stay with me. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I know what it was. I know what I was going to do. I know. I know. I know. I have it here. I know, I know what I was going to do. I remembered. My brain does work, it just works more slowly when I'm this tired. Uh, what's your favourite costume, Ms. Rowena? I think my um, my um, my pink dress tomorrow is really pretty. Um, it was made by the department, especially. Um, and um, I also, I feel I've been really lucky with my costumes. I hope I get to buy them all when um, when the show is done. I know. I also wanted to give a shout out to say thank you to Riley and Shirts, She Who Shall Not Be Named, um, for doing such a sweet job of designing this. And um, I did a self tape the other night and I wore it. Um, I wore it for a character I was auditioning for. It was perfect for it. Um, I love the whole thing and it matches my hair. And um, so does the tea in the cup. So this is my particular charm. A wee cup of tea. It's um, it's too hot to drink right now. Um, and I think we're on like the last day or two. Um, we're going to give a portion of uh, the profits to My Hope Chest, um, which if you go to my Facebook page, the, the link's there. If you look on Twitter, or I'm sure in any of my posts I've tagged them, um, they're a small charity they could really do with follows. Um, and they're really, they are a very small charity. They're struggling, struggling to survive and trying to make it through to the next year so they can help pay for more women um, to have reconstruction after breast cancer. Um, s s certainly um, there are people who find themselves in a situation where they don't have the right insurance um, or they've left it too late to use their insurance um, they, or they just, you know, they just plain can't afford, can't afford it. Um, and so My Hope Chess has paid for over 50 women's reconstructions in the last 10 years, I think it is. Um, so s um, slow and steady. 
um, and it means a lot to Alicia, who runs it. Um, every little helps. So whether you give them a follow or you go to their page and make a little donation, maybe the cost of a cup of tea. Um, but also you can get one of these swanky, swanky fellas, and um, yeah, and we'll we're going to give them we're going to give them a portion, as I said, and help them out. Um, let me see if there's any. You're from Brazil. I I you know I visited Brazil last year with um, Elena, and we had such fun. I had raw cheeks by the end of it because everybody who came for a photo op gave me a kiss on each cheek, hello, and a kiss on each cheek, goodbye, and I had I had I had sore cheeks, <laughs> but it was lovely. And um, it was really amazing to be in Brazil and meet so many Brazilian fans. Oi. Um, yeah, um, SBNDC is in, is that 10 days? Oh my word. So I've got to get from here back to LA, to DC. Oh my word, it's been a, it's been a busy month. Um, we were in Burbank this weekend. That was a lot of fun, the Misha Con. And we did we did well with Random Acts, I think. We did well. And we we um the fans who came to Burbank donated um enough to make I think a thousand packs for the downtown ladies women's shelter and so that's women who are homeless or uh, many of whom of whom have children. And we made um the yeah, Random Acts did an amazing job, so thank you for everyone who came to Burbank and did that. Our fandom is amazing. Um, before that it was Toronto, it's not Toronto, which sounds like Toronto, um, it's Toronto, Toronto, and that was fabulous too, so yeah, a lot of air miles, and it's probably no surprise that I now have a cold somehow, although I, I do, I, I am blaming on someone at Burbank, I'm not sure who, but I, I'll pick someone and hex them. Um, I'm, I sh should I just keep waffling on or like is everyone like falling asleep uh, Toronto your song was great in SNS um, th uh, Loud and Swain for people who haven't been to a convention um, Loud and Swain um, who are Rob Benedict, Mike Borja Billy Moran and Stephen Norton um, they play they play like about 30 or 40 songs over the whole weekend um, through various stages of the weekend and the Saturday night they play a lot of songs, a lot of their own music and then every now and again one of us gets to go up and, and sing with them and they very kindly um, learn whatever crazy song we choose and do a great job putting it together and we get to perform and I get to be a rock star for 3.5 minutes um, and I think at Burbank I think I sang, sang a lot of it in tune I didn't sing it all in tune in Toronto and I've learned to accept. I've learned to accept that it doesn't always go perfectly, but that it doesn't always. It doesn't. It doesn't mean that people hate it. It's okay. It's okay to not be perfectly in tune. Ah, what is a dream song? Well, funnily enough, they use the word dream because there's a little discussion going on with. Miss Kimberly Rhodes and I about a sweet dreamy song. It's whether I can go to the next level, which is not just sing, but sing in tune in a harmony. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready yet. I don't know if the world's ready yet. But we shall see if we can get enough rehearsal with Loud and Swain. Um, we shall see. Thank you for that question. Um, I wish I could make it to Armageddon. Oh, why not? Come over. Come over. It's really fun to be in Auckland. It's nearly spring here, I think. I have a really cool plan for tomorrow. Um, maybe I'll send some pictures about what I do tomorrow. And, um, yeah. I the, the thing I'm doing tomorrow, it was actually Phil Segrisha told me about. Um, he did a lot of filming out here, I think, Zena. Um, and so yeah I've got a really fun plan for tomorrow and then because it's yeah we're a day ahead here and I don't wonder I'm tired 
So I don't have like a, it's like a day and a quarter or something. Um, but um, then it's the convention, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I've already met a couple of the guests, including Pat, who was in Babylon 5, another redhead. And we had a great chat um, at breakfast. She's awesome. I'll maybe try and tag her. I need to I need to try and tag the link for this. I don't know how to do that. Can somebody do it for me? It's in my bio. And I'll try and tag Pat to say hi because she's awesome. 